Hello everyone, this is a Sonic Academy tutorial in how to use Logic Alchemy. My name is Paolo Mojo and I make and play electronic music as a DJ and producer. I'm not a teacher and my way of making music is, is pretty idiosyncratic to me, but I've tried to help a few people I know, pass knowledge and ideas on, and I found it a rewarding thing to do. So that's why I'm here. This is Alchemy. It's Logic's flagship synthesizer and it's based on technology that was developed by another company called Camel Audio. And this synth used to exist as Camel Audio Alchemy. Well, it existed until Apple decided to buy them. And what they've done is taken that synth, they've enhanced it, and they've given it the Logic look and feel, and integrated it pretty tightly within the Logic environment. And that's an obvious thing to mention right away if you're not a Logic user. Alchemy isn't gonna be available to you. Sorry, Ableton peeps. There's been a whole host of these kinds of synths in recent years, the Omni synths as I like to call them, and they've been released primarily due to the fact that processing power is now able to handle them, all singing, all dancing synths that do a lot of things very well. Other examples include maybe the first of them, Spectrosonic's Omnisphere, or perhaps Steve Duda's Serum. But I like Alchemy particularly because of the sheer depth of things you can do with its four sound sources, and of course these six synthesis engines, and the modulation is just amazing. But we're going to get to all that. These three tabs here, Browse, Simple and Advanced, are the three main ways we interact with Alchemy. And I'm going to start by going through the very fully featured browser. 